Hey, what's going on? This is Matt, and uh, today is going to be the start of a new series on my YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to be building a, a brewery in my basement. I've wanted to do this for a very long time uh, and just started kind of piecing it together. The idea is to not spend a ton of money. Um, so that's the plan. Um, today, we're going to set up the ventilation that we're going to use. We have one of those glass block windows in the basement. So I just have to break out one of those glass blocks and install a dryer vent that I bought online. I got some duct work online and also just got one of those stainless steel over the range hoods that should be, I think, sufficient for getting the moisture out of here. Um, so yeah, we cleaned the room up. It looks pretty good. And uh, we're just gonna get going on that install. So this is the glass block window I was talking about. Uh, you can see that there's some drywall up there that I'll probably have to remove so I can get to the glass block uh, a little bit easier, which means I might have to move around some of these supports for the drop ceiling. And then I think I'm going to take that one off. I uh, don't no particular reason why. I think what I want to do is, is definitely one of these top two because I think the side ones will be a little bit more difficult to remove because of the cement on the side. So I figure it'll be easier to remove one of these two. I think I'm going to do that one though. Uh, so we're going to remove all this and start whacking on that glass block with a hammer and we'll start peeling that away to make a spot for the uh, dryer vent. So this is where we're at. Uh, about an hour in, what I did is I removed the, uh, the drywall, which was actually a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. Uh, there was a bunch of screws in with the supports up there. Uh, the screws also actually uh, that this was holding onto the side was all screwed into the drywall, so I removed all that. Uh, and then I it, I, it actually takes quite a bit of force to break one of those glass blocks. So I had to whack it pretty hard. And, and if you if you do have a glass block window and you're doing this, just be cautious because these things explode when they break. They don't just like kind of crumble. They, they It popped. So just be careful because I probably blew glass all over this floor. So now I'm wearing a little, little sandal so I don't cut my feet. So cut that. I broke that apart. I started peeling that back. And uh, it's actually looking really good. Uh, so I already kind of test fitted the, the vent. And this is the vent that we're working with here. It's, uh, it's right here. I got it off uh, uh, Home Depot. So I'll put a link up to all the stuff that I'm using this build down in the information section below just so you have it just in case you're looking for stuff. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. I really got to clean up uh, all the excess glue and glass that's still on the sides there. So the ventilation will fit in place. So I just finished up putting in the vent. It slid in really nicely. Uh, one thing you have to consider when you're doing this is the you really have to make sure you do a really good job cleaning up the glue and glass um, on the other sides of the blocks because uh, this is a very, very tight fit. So you wanna make sure that it's very, very clean and it should slide right in. Um, I applied some silicone uh, to the outer edges and we're just gonna let that dry up. So. Next, we're gonna kind of clean up the edges. We're gonna add more silicone around the edges, but I just wanna make sure that this uh, dries up before we do go ahead and do that. All right, and here's what the outside looks like. All right, so now's a good time to go over what the plans are, and I'll show you a, a better picture of the space here, what I got. I totally cleaned out the room, uh, so you can kind of see what uh, the idea is, where the plumbing's gonna be, where the ventilation's gonna be. So uh, here we go. So this is my basement. This is one of our um, office spaces in the basement here. Um, it's a relatively big space and it comes with a, comes with a closet and a window um, and electrical panel. It's got a lot of outlets. It's got good lights. Um, it's got this basement drop down ceiling. So I figured this would probably be a good room for my uh, basement brewery. The main reason because it has uh, access to um, the outside for ventilation. And then up here, I have a bunch of existing plumbing that I can tie into. Now all the plumbing is uh, up higher than the sink will be installed. So I went ahead and bought a pump to pump up the water that will be um, going through the sink up into the existing plumbing. We also have copper in the ceiling as well. So I'll have to do some copper work to install the new sink as well. Um, so. To kind of go through the plan, um, right here is I want the sink to be, it's just gonna be a plastic tub to save some money. And then the plumbing's gonna be ran across the floor up into the existing plumbing. And then the copper is gonna go across the ceiling here and drop down for the sink. So the sink's gonna be there. 
This is gonna be the table. So there's gonna be a long 60 inch stainless steel table and it's gonna tie into the existing um, uh, vent that I installed just recently. Um, so that's, and then there'll be a stainless steel vent hood right here as well. And then inside the closet, um, I figure this would be a good place to put like all the brewing salts and the chemicals, the uh, tubing and such. So everything's gonna probably go in the closet. That's not too pretty to look to uh, look at. And I figured this would probably be a good spot for a fermentation chamber. Um, so I've wanted to build a fermentation chamber for a very long time. Um, so I'm probably gonna build a pretty ugly fermentation chamber that I can hide away in the closet. So. That's kind of the plan that there'll be a fermentation chamber in here. And then on the other side here, I'm thinking this will be where the uh, the uh, keg grater goes, the corner there. So when we're brewing in the corner here, that's my cat. Um, when we're brewing in the corner here, we can be, uh, you know, tapping some beers right over there. I figured too, this would be a good spot for some wall art. My wife is an artist, um, so she could probably do some sort of logo on the wall here. And then the flooring obviously can't stay carpet if we're gonna be running a brewery in here. So all the carpet is gonna come up. I already just tore out a test strip over here and it comes up pretty easy. It's cement underneath. So it's pretty nice. What's gonna go on top is this rubber flooring. So it's actually a garage floor, coin floor. It's I think it's like three bucks a square foot. So I bought a ton of it. I probably, I might need to buy more of it to be honest. Um, I didn't really measure it out too well. But that's going to be all rubber flooring and then underneath that will be cement. So I figure it will be relatively good for um, a brewery room. So since we have the vent installed, uh, we just need to put the actual vent up here. So the plan was to initially just kind of screw it onto the wall. But I found out that this drywall just has those metal studs in the back. And I'm not sure if those are going to be strong enough to hold up this vent. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take some 2 by 4 I'm gonna run it from up here to down here to support uh, so I can screw up into the ceiling essentially. And then I'll make it pretty later. I'm, I'm also gonna probably screw in the, uh, the back of this to the wall as well. So that's the plan. So we got the vent installed. And as you can see, I did not screw it into the ceiling. I screwed it into the wall. I looked into how much weight those uh, metal studs can support and it's actually a decent amount of weight. So I, I just installed it on the uh, the wall. So there's like six screws. I think there's like two drywall um, anchors in there, and then there's four screws that go into the metal studs. So it's not it's not that heavy. So I think it'll be fine. Also, it looks a lot nicer. This took a lot longer than I anticipated because uh, I did try the first plan to screw it up into the ceiling and drop a bunch of wood down. So I had to cut a bunch of wood up measure it and it looked it looked really bad on top of not being very functional so for the uh, steam we used a dryer vent duct and we just sealed the uh, ends with hvac tape it's the stainless steel tape wrapped around this plastic part here then up there um, there's an actual clamp that clamped down on it it's very very hard to get this installed uh, it's kind of a tight fit but then we sealed it around with hvac tape as well i checked for leaks it's all good um, so this is the uh, the way it looks with the lights, and it also has three speeds on it. This is the first speed. It's pretty quiet. So I'm very happy with how this turned out, and I like the uh, the vent hood. So I'll leave it in, uh, all the information and the information, all the uh, the parts I use in the information section down below. So feel free to uh, check those out. So that covers part one of the uh, basement brewery build. Uh, for the ventilation, there's going to be uh, it's going to be a multi-part series. Uh, for this video, we just wanted to cover this. The next part will be the flooring install. So we're going to be ripping out all the flooring and installing the rubber flooring. I'm very excited to get going on that. I'll probably get going on it tomorrow morning, so you can expect the video uh, fairly soon after this. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I learned quite a bit when doing this, so feel free to ask uh, any questions about the uh, the process here, and I'll get back with you whenever I see the comments. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.